What's up guys? Today we are playing Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. As you can see we have skipped the first mission. I've even gone through all the tutorial bullshit. Um, so right now we're trying to go rescue Kaz. And it wants me to go to this village. But I've played this game. I've gotten a really good ways into it. I recently deleted my entire save file. And so we're just going to run in and probably get killed pretty quickly because the last time I played I had both the stealth camo and the infinity bandana which I don't have anymore so it's time to find out how bad I suck let's see what happens first things first we're gonna try to steal this outpost up here and I don't like doing this in the middle of the day honestly So basically what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to use as few lethal methods as I can. Uh, in this game, you really get rewarded for that. If you play right, um, there's a pretty good chance I'm going to fuck up a lot. That's going to get old quick. Now right now, I can't do the thing I want to, so there's probably going to be a few dead bodies on this mission. Uh, later on, you get the full tin, which lets you extract soldiers. Um, but I don't have that. And since I don't have that, it's going to cause some problems. But this guy, this guy is... That guy's dead. So, uh, actually, can I... Yeah. I'm only going to use the horse as long as I have to. As soon as I get a new buddy, I'm going to be getting rid of the horse. I don't like D-Horse. He's good for moving fast, but he has this fatal flaw of being worthless outside of that. See, D-Dog, I can have attack people. I'm going to love it whenever I get quiet. She's by far the most useful buddy. Of all of them. The village is crawling with enemy soldiers. Don't just go waltzing in. Start with some recon. Is there anywhere that overlooks the village? Uh, now they want me to most likely interrogate somebody here. Interrogating people is difficult at best. Um, especially since I'm really bad at being stealthy. Seriously? See what I mean? So I have a problem. This is why I would like to have D-Dog, because he will show me where enemies are. So right now I'm at an extreme disadvantage to what I'm used to. Not entirely sure why they're already angry at me. And seem to know where I am. Yeah. 
That worked out. Well, unfortunately, I have no idea what anybody is saying or how angry they are at me, so... Okay, let's... Seriously? Right now, the goal is not dying. I'm honestly not worried about the enemy. The enemy stays on combat alert. There we go. Maybe that'll help a little. Should be nice if I could see outside. There we go. All right. So that's how you don't do it, because it's also why night is way better for doing this than day. So you picked up an intel file. I'm marking it on your iDroid. Wow, I did I did bad. I did very bad. That's probably one of the worst infiltrations I've ever done. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to call the horse. It's up to you whether to slip by enemies or take them down. Just remember that any situation can change fast. Familiarize yourself with your weapons and items while you can. You need to be able to switch between them quickly to meet any threat. Clearly I would I didn't excel in that, especially since I used a lot of ammo and took a lot of damage. But now, now we're gonna go try to get cause, and it looks like the sun's going down, so that'll be a good advantage. Especially going into this place since it's kinda built into the side of a mountain. Yourself. 
Okay, there's four enemies here. My objective really is going to be to try to get through here without anybody knowing I was here. Which is why I hit them all with tranks, because my suppressor's still working on it. Give it a minute and they should all start falling asleep. Should they should all start Shit. There we go. This is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one. And there we go. Try to avoid those two. I'm not particularly fond of this mission, mostly because of what happens at the end of it. I guess I should also specify, um, I'm doing this on a mission-by-mission -mission basis. Uh, each time I complete a mission, it's going to end the episode and blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm not going to do the secondary missions. Uh, on, on, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do the secondary missions, um, unless they're, like, absolutely critical, because a few of them are. You know, I could really use you shutting up right now, dude. Like, unfortunately, in the first few missions, you do run into the issue of... They have to tell you everything. They tell you, they have to tell you how to be a soldier, essentially. And when you've already played, that can be annoying. But for those of you who have not played, you know, it's they're giving you a little bit of insight into the game. I need to get into that building. and be seen by as few people as possible. Preferably none, because I know as soon as one person sees me and I have to shoot them, we're going to have a problem. But there's a lot of if behind that right now. So I'm going to try... To get into this base. I know exactly where Kaz is. Fortunately. Oh shit. That's a problem. Nothing. You saw nothing. You didn't you didn't see anything. Okay, he's... I lost him. And that's the thing about night, is it's one of those, when they see you, it's not immediate, you know, even from like 100 yards away, like that guy saw me. It's not immediately, oh, hey, there's a guy there. Oh, shit, there's another guy over there. Shit, and there's somebody inside, too. Okay, that's a problem. I need I need to be able to see the guy inside. Like Seeing him is kind of important. I might have to shoot my way out of this one, too. I don't want to, but, but that's probably going to end up happening. Like I said, I'm really bad at this game. I, I don't know how he didn't see me. Do I have grenades? I do have grenades. But I have magazines. And that's more useful. I 
because magazines can get people to move away. Perfect. That's the building, boss. That's where they're holding Miller. Where? Oh, hey, there's a guy there. All right, that's cause. But I have a problem. I have a problem, and that's that they know that I'm here. Them knowing I'm here is a problem. It's it's a big problem, actually. So what we're going to do... Okay. Okay. We're to a point where now That's interesting. Okay. There's still people here. I'm not sure as to where. But they are, in fact, here. I can hide up here for a little while. I, I don't know how I managed to hit him and then managed to completely miss every single shot. But that happened. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to go ahead and free cause. And we're going to see by getting out of here. I am going to skip this cutscene though.
Yeah, I can do a lot of things. Some fucked up shit happened to Kaz. That guy's a problem. But I think I can get around without alerting him again. Now, they won't... It, it gets real stupid here in a minute. And the things that are supposed to work, don't work. But now I can sprint. You know what, for that matter... We're getting close to the end of the mission here. Well, I say that. Down here, D-horse. Where are you? You... It fucking teleporting horse. And now there's this mist! Miss that complicates everything. So they're going to move. And now I got to deal with these fuckers. I don't know why they move the way they do. It's the skulls. Don't let them find us. Boss, whatever that mist is, it's all around you. We can't see through it. I'm changing the RV so it's outside the mist. Get over there. The chopper will be waiting. I'm going to try... Whoop! I'm going to try to lure them away. I'm probably not going to succeed. Yep, I did not succeed. So I get to deal with this. And that's how you get away from them. Yeah. 
attacked us before. They came at us real fast in the same kind of mist. Our men, survivors from nine years ago, were wiped out in minutes. All I right, you want, put Miller in. Miller in. No mistake. And that is the end of the mission. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. That has to freak out that horse. Oh, God. There's a handful of missions in this game that I absolutely hate, and that's one of them. Really, any mission, any mission that has the skulls is a problem for me. Every single one of them. All right, so we got stuff. That's great. And here's some story for you. Sorry about the camera. My lights haven't come in yet, so everything changes based on what the screen brightness is, and right now it's pretty intense. For those of you who did not play uh, Ground Zeroes, this is what happened at the end of that. I can't really call it spoilers because it's technically the same game. It was really just a teaser for this game. That cost way too much money, but hey. Boy, am I bloody. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night. I can feel my leg. My arm. Even my fingers. The body I've lost. The comrades I've lost. Group above nations, even the U.S. 
And I was the parasite below, feeding off Zero's power. Everything that we've lost, and I won't rest until we do. Pushing mother base. Little close to my face, bro. Oh yeah, it's originally orange. Just right there. Alright, uh, that looks like a good place to call it. Um, the next mission, I don't know what that is. But, well, fucking... You know what? We're going to knock this out. Or we're going to start this. We're going to go wherever the hell this leads us. Uh, more than likely, you're going to see this again at the beginning of the next episode. But thank you everybody for watching. And I will see you next time.